Dr. Hema, you being a general physician as well as being certified in clinical genomics from the very prestigious Harvard Medical School. So what all information can we tell our people based uh -huh. on this uh, genetic test that we are doing? Right. When we look at the DNA material, once we get the swab, so once you take the DNA material out, we look at close to, there are 22,000 genes that are actually looked at. In that, there is a separate panel that we look for mainly for obesity and when we say obesity it's not just obesity itself there are genes related to your nutrition which are involved in weight gain or weight loss there are genes related to insulin resistance and sensitivity which are again related to your weight gain there are uh, genes related to fatty liver which basically if your glucose metabolism is not good enough then that causes abdominal obesity and visceral obesity that is a risk factor again for heart diseases as well so uh, multiple uh, genes are pooled based on the physiology of the body and these genes are all looked at and then we compare it to the indian uh, data set if you have a mutation is that really important in your context mm -hmm. or not because by the end, when we uh, end up sequencing, we'll look at close to some 10,000 mutations or so. And once we filter all of that information, we'll be able to tell you whether there are mutations for insulin uh, resistance, whether you have a tendency for weight gain. In fact, it will also be indirectly related to the risk for heart disease. And then, of course, the nutrition, which is uh, like I was talking about epigenetics, the environmental factors. If you know the kind of food that you should be eating, your carbohydrates, fats and lipids, if you are able to manage that properly, you will be able to make sure that even if you have these mutations, your metabolism is running smoothly. Mm -hmm. So it helps with knowing your diet as well. So put it very simply, in mm -hmm. this test, if we can get it done, you will be running down at least 10,000 genes. Yes. Minimum. Yes. And then telling yes. us if we have that extra tendency to gain weight, mm -hmm. whether we are very sensitive to sugars and carbohydrates, mm -hmm. whether mm -hmm. that kind of a diet helps us put on weight right. or a diet more in fats mm -hmm. makes us much more prone to putting on mm -hmm. weight. Mm -hmm. So you'll also be telling mm -hmm. us about our insulin sensitivity and mm -hmm. whether we have a tendency to go on for insulin resistance uh -huh. and that weight gain. Mm -hmm. So that indirectly also gives us information about our risk factors for developing yes. diabetes and heart disease yes. uh, further yes. on. You will also be telling us about how sensitive we are to losing weight with exercise, our response to exercise? Yes, we, we will be able to tell you how much of workout can your muscles put in because there's a lot of, uh, you know, trend for these heavy workouts these days. But not all people can, first of all, tolerate. It can be deleterious as well. So you should know basically uh, to know how much of effort should you put in, uh, not more, not less. We can actually, we get that from your uh, carbohydrate metabolism and from your uh, musculoskeletal uh, genes. And that can help you create a regimen for yourself. This is the diet I'm going to take and this is the workout plan for me. Especially the best part is that extensive diet sheet that comes out based on our uh, DNA and our mm -hmm. genetics. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is super specialized. Like we get a diet chart based on our genes and our DNA. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. That's so, fantastic. Yes, and uh, I think uh, that is what is the main purpose of getting a genetic test yeah. done even like if you know your risk then the next thing is what am I going to do about it fine I have a risk but the good part is by knowing the kind of diet and the a kind of exercise you should be technically putting in you will be able to beat it at least prevent it or maybe extend it as much as you can so that's the main the whole idea of getting this test done.